Deadwood Creek just up off of uh, Dorshack Lake or no Breakfast Creek Breakfast Creek and Deadwood Creek or Floodwood Creek I'm sorry anyway had a had a great camp last night and had some amenities like a table and some nice chairs Thought about packing one of those with me, but they're a little heavy. Anyway, we're headed on down the trail right here by uh, Floodwood Creek. Um, oh, shoot, we left the. We were icing down some sodas last night in the creek. Makes for a really dandy cooler. Voila! Cold it's soda pop. Early cold morning of day seven, we uh, camp. We found a coolest campsite out in the middle of nowhere. Man, was it nice! Looked like an old hunter's camp. They'd even fabricated up a couple little boxes to sit on to take a crap. They had a nice fire last night. And we're about 75 miles from Wallace, Idaho, I believe. Still above Dorsiak Lake, I think. And I've got the, and I've got the jacket. The jacket. So it's not going to be a cold day, it doesn't look like. Got some moisture up here and it's uh, from snow melt. Yep, there's some snow. We did a rocky climb, it was pretty tough. But it was planted rock, so at least they wasn't moving around on you. But I was just Pretty much second gear all the way up. And this is cool right near right near creek down here. Look at the rocks formations. This has been going on for miles and miles and miles. Down in the canyon. Now we're going to ride through a tunnel here. Damn, it's dark in here. <laughs> I had my shade down on my helmet, you can hardly see. Coming into the little town of Avery now, there's Mark just passed me, Hairlit Dog they call him. And a couple guys are going to get some fuel. Couple of us don't need any. Oh, this is a cool little, these little cabins. Place to camp. Speed bumps you can go around. That road we this was on back there through the canyon with the tunnel. I don't know if I've ever been on that road before. It was, that was gorgeous. Man, look at this old bridge across the river. That bridge is older than I am. Aha, looks like we got gasolina. 
Maybe. <laughs> Gasolina, senor. Looks like I've been prudo. Hable espanol, yeah. Boy, it's a cool little town. Yeah. It is. Very nice. Um, one side of the Hiawatha Trail and one side of the river and uh, kind of a bicycle trail and then on this side uh, the more fun side with the dirt. There's some tunnels up ahead there. Yeah, actually, the other road goes through the tunnels. Went through those last time we were here. This time we're going to stay on dirt. <laughs> Another tunnel. Yeah, this is pretty cool. You can see them from down below here. Well, this is an interesting little track. We was down there in that road over there and we could we was knew he was off track, we could figure out where it was. <laughs> By the way, uh, Scott seen a bull moose a little bit ago. Shit, this is phenomenal. I know, I didn't know this road existed. Yeah, me neither. Cool going through the tunnel, but this is cooler, yeah. First I thought there was no railroad grave, but ain't no way. <laughs> That's the old railroad grave for sure. Yeah. Man, that what a beautiful view that is. It looks like we're hitting the Mainer Road. Don't look that up in the dictionary, it ain't in there. Dingweeds made that up. It's about seven or eight miles from <coughs> Wallace, Idaho. We just went over Moon Pass. We was climbing for miles and now we're going down. Really nice and cool up here. Now we had lunch in Wallace. And now we're uh, heading on a out on a cool little dirt path. There's five of us. And one behind me. Well, we're on the tour of Idaho now. Uh, <clears throat> we're south of uh, south of Wallace.
pretty close to the Montana line. 